Welcome to Blood Identification VR. In this experience, you'll engage in the procedures to test and identify blood types. Meet your patient. It's critical we discover their blood type as they're in need of an urgent transfusion. Take a pipette from the pipette dispenser by hovering over it and pressing the trigger. Now grab a sample from the anti-A bottle. Move the pipette over it, hold the trigger, submerge the pipette, then release the trigger in the solution. Try it. Drop a tiny amount of the sample on the tile by moving your arm over the highlighted tile segment and gently tapping the trigger so that you stay in the green zone of the pressure gauge. Too big. Squeeze the trigger more gently. Remember to squeeze gently to reduce the risk of spillage and cross-contamination. The pipette's now contaminated. Throw it away. Top tip. Pipetting small droplets lowers the risk of cross-contamination and it saves wasting resources. When performing this process in real life, you'll need to mix the RBCs by gently rolling the bottles between the palms of your hands. However, we'll assume this has already happened. Take their blood sample from the test tube and drop it across the tile segments. Great, you're all set. Look up. It's now time to mix the reagents and RBCs as seen in this footage. Don't knock too vigorously or you might risk the drops running into each other. Look at the gauge and keep it in the green zone as before. The results are in. Consult the blood results chart to help interpret your findings. Compare the bottom row of your tile with each row of the chart and look for a match. Select the blood type that corresponds with your choice. Now decide which of the available blood packs to transfuse to them. Getting this wrong could cost their life, so choose wisely. You've saved a life today. Not only did you correctly identify the patient's blood type, but you also made the right choice about the type of blood to transfuse to them. 